Stetson, can you contrast how you felt um, in the two-minute drill to end the first half and then the two-minute drill to end the game? Uh, yeah, I mean, we practiced that in the, um, which I wouldn't say I executed, but we practiced it uh, a lot, uh, where it's two minute in the half, two minute in the game, we need it, we don't need it. Or we need it and we would like to have it. And, you know, because, I mean, I can't put the ball in jeopardy like that before the half because we don't have to have it. Um, and then at the end of the game, I don't know, it kind of frees you up and I mean, you, got, you, you got to, otherwise we're going to lose. Um, Yeah, so much of the story surrounding this wide receiver room has just been injuries this year. And tonight you see AD make a big play, Arian, Dom early in the game, Kyrus late there. How big is it for that room, and this can go to Kirby or Stetson, for them to have the ability to showcase that they can actually go out there and make those plays now that they're on the field? Yeah, I, I, I thought BMAC did a good job selling to our team. You know, we had several coaches stand up and speak on Friday, and he talked about, you know, the, the, the personal respect and the level that he has for all the attention their receivers are getting. And they certainly deserve that. They certainly deserve that. They're really good, really talented. But we got some good wideouts too. And they had a chip on their shoulder and they wanted to make some plays. And they got a quarterback that can get them the ball. And uh, a lot of those guys were able to come back. And it's, it's really been by committee when you look at it. I mean, you see AD, Arian, Ladd. I mean, all kinds of guys making plays in the passing game for us. Marcus is making big plays. Coach Lamont, um, I just want to say I want to congratulate you on the excellent game, even though you guys probably didn't play as well. Um, the question I have is, and we may not be able to answer this, but how is Washington doing? Because uh, I know he's a big part of the offense. It helps Brock out um, in, in the passing game and even in the running game also. So uh, can we expect him to, you know, be it's in hard, the next week? It's hard to tell right now. It's ankle sprain. I don't know if it's high or low. Uh, he tried to go back and you know, couldn't go back on it. So we'll have to evaluate and see. The good news is he's got more than a, you know, a normal week. I know he'll do everything he can to get back. He's headed out west, uh, back you know, towards where he's from. And uh, it'll be important for him to try to get back. All right, we've got time for just a few more. We'll go next right here. Yes, Dad, uh, you, you talked a second ago about y'all working on those, those last second, last minute drives a lot. How much does that help you, you know, kind of slow your heart rate down because you've done it before? Like, so you might have been successful in practice all the time. How much does that help you relax and, and know what to do? Yeah, I mean, it's the, it's the same thing as everything. Um, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. Um, you know, and, and, and we wrap a lot of two minutes. Uh, we know, you know, what calls we're going to do. Or, um, you know, we've got players who, who study the game plan. and. And so it's, it's less so confidence in what I can do. And, you know, I know that they're going to be where they're going to be and, and they're going to win their matchups. And so all I've got to do is get them the ball. Um, so I'd say that slows my heart rate down. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, uh, definitely the reps. Chip? Kirby football's crazy. Uh, but sometimes you win games you, you shouldn't and you, should, and you lose games you shouldn't as well. What, where did this one fall for you? I mean, just in terms of you look, you look up there at the end, you're – your uh, yeah. expression was surprising. It's, it's, it, it, you know, I mean, really, yeah, I know you don't believe it. My heart goes out to those guys because they played well enough to win. And um, that's not, you know, my concern. My concern is the, the men in our locker room. And we played well enough to win, too, just well enough to win. And we played really hard uh, in the fourth quarter. I just, you know, I, I would have liked to see a, a little cleaner um, game. And, and you got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, they, they disrupted a lot of that. Uh, and we didn't have, you know, a lot of turnovers. We didn't have self-inflicted wounds, and they didn't either. I mean, both teams played really well, and both defenses rose up and made stops. It was a very competitive, balanced game. And there weren't a lot of big plays in the kicking game like you might expect. Uh, but we're just proud for our guys. All right, thanks, Chairman Mike. Uh, Stetson, uh, you make it look easy. Does it feel routine at this point? You've done it so many times now. Can you just talk about the mindset and the way you operate in these clutch situations? Because you've done it again and again and again. I mean, yeah, no, I probably can't comment on that. I don't know. Um, I just try to do my job. Um, you know, uh, you know, kind of go back and look at the tape, see what we could clean up because it felt like there was a 30-minute period there where I just played bad football and. So we got to fix that, um, but as to the rest, I, I don't know about that. All right, we'll take our final question right here. Coach Smart, congratulations on a hard-fought win. So 
how long do you give yourself to enjoy this before turning the page and focusing on the next one? Now we got to start tomorrow. I mean, we got a short window, so you know, we can't start when we get back home. We got to sleep, <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll 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 get started tomorrow and uh, get 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 jump back home. Luckily, we caught the late game, but we caught the late game an hour from home. So I remember sitting at this point, twenty whatever it was, eighteen seventeen. I don't even know what year it was. But we had a long flight, and uh, we had a short week. We had a seven day week with a flight from from. Pasadena. So uh, you know, we got a little more time. I think it's important to get healed. You know, our players have had a long season and a long week of practice this week. I want them to get away, remember what they're fighting for, and come back ready, rejuvenated, ready to go, because this is, this is what you're doing for them. Gentlemen, thank you very much.